Hello, gentle viewers, and welcome to episode something or other, probably episode six, of uh, Stellaris, The Revenge of Cricket. Um, in our last episode, um, we began uh, expanding to our second planet, Bacata, which we acquired as a result of a war. Um, and we began our second, uh, what's your jigger group? Tradition group, that's right. So, um, what we're going to be doing today is continuing to expand and probably, before this episode is out, begin colonizing our first other world of cricketers. Because right now we only have two um, depopulation slots, um, one of which is going to be filled in the not too distant future. So we're at the stage where it's worthwhile considering where we want our next planet to be. Um, now the best world is going to be Chivalar here. It's a 17 continental and we do have continental preference. But it wouldn't expand our borders very much because it's so close to our existing system. Alternately, we could come over to Darasta, which is very small. Mm. Or we could take a stab at one of the ocean worlds, or the tropical world. Now this ocean world is pretty tempting, because it's got Batharian Stone, which, uh, for those of you who haven't played the game... Batharian Stone um, is a massive increase to energy output, and it would push our borders out almost enough to fill the gap. So I'm thinking Unar 2 is going to be our target location. People won't be quite as happy there as they are on Cricket, but I think over time they will learn to love it. Or they will be ruthlessly murdered, as is our uh, modus operandi. So I see no reason to delay. We'll go ahead and build up some uh, some influence there. Um, I would like to run real quick in here and snag this uh, mining station. System survey complete. Research complete. Ah, a new research assignment. A straight, flat, increased habitability. Very nice. Um, share the burden. We don't really use... Ooh, wait a minute. That improves robot output. I did not know that. Hmm. Not... Okay, let me remind myself. Cheaper ship upkeep, faster repair speed. And then a flat bonus to growth. Let's go ahead and do this one. Plus, this is going to unlock additional technology. Which is which is always helpful. Construction complete. Very nice. The spaceport of Bacata is finished. I think you were just upgrading, weren't you? Um, I don't want to upgrade the power plant right now. Okay. The metallic orb has been opened up. Our hacking team has been able to use the outgoing signal as a gateway into the one of the auxiliary CPUs of the sphere. We're receiving some data from it and can tell that it's been scanning the black hole Gargantua for a very long time. It is old. Very old. This constant calculator now lies within our grasp of understanding. If we push harder, we might find out what it is doing here and who built it. What marvels might it contain? We can try to blow it up. Or we can try to access the main processor unit. Hmm... I haven't seen this event before. I think this is one of the ones from the free Horizon, Event Horizon, Horizon Signal, Signal Horizon. My memory's blanking. They came out with Kennedy. And uh, I don't remember what happens. Um, but I think there's only one solution for the people of Cricket when you see something strange and possibly alien in space. You have to murder it. So let's go ahead and find the self-destruct switch and hope this does not end terribly for us as i suspect it might um here we go i need a transport ship in orbit well we can manage that let's take one of our assault armies Ooh, that's right we don't have any attachments on these do we oh something to consider a bit later on perhaps Oh, you just right-click on it. Very good. Please, good sir. 
travel thy way to Gargantua. And let's see if we can blow this thing up. I know this is like a really bad idea. This could go just so horribly, horribly wrong. But it's fine, right? It's fine. Uh, science ship, your presence is no longer required there. Uh, you could go survey Broken. Brocken. Brocon. I do want you to start doing the rest of the Cybrex projects in our system, but the problem is I think they all require a level 5. Yeah, level 5, level 5. And we have, what, two level 4s? I wish they had the leader skill in this uh, little pop-up here. That would be pretty helpful. You're a level 3, almost a level 4, and you just became a level 4. It's going to be a while before we can do that. But, you know what? I'll survive. We'll survive. Um, we're doing very nicely here. Mm. Oh, we can't... But that's right. That's right. So you're 275. And you're 275. We might as well just go ahead and build the ships here because the fleet's going to be staying here for the time being. Um, so by all means, add another destroyer. So we have enough for ten more destroyers, or five more destroyers or ten more corvettes. Um, you w ideally want more corvettes than destroyers and more destroyers than cruisers. So I think this is going to be our last uh, destroyer for the second, and then we'll go ahead and build ourselves a nice corvette. Maybe two Corvettes. Construction complete. Our new destroyer's finished. Excellent. So we're going to build another destroyer as soon as we get enough minerals for it. There we go. Nope, we need one more. System survey complete. Anomaly found. <gasps> Observing the massive asteroid C-9000, we have found something. Further investigation is warranted. Then warranted the investigation shall be. That was pretty awkward. I did not for I did not phrase that as well as I could have. A better point defense, very nice. Ooh, shields or research alternatives. I really should just pick up the survey thing just to get it done with. Um I'm going to do research alternatives instead. Um, having four choices instead of just three is massively useful. So let's do that. And then Bacata is working on a Corvette. Mining your own business. Deep within a crevice of the giant asteroid C-9000, we have found something astonishing. There is mining gear attached to the rock, digging itself into the vast depth of the asteroid. It stands abandoned with no sign of who placed it there. If we can... Pardon me. If we can stop the machine, we might be able to learn something about the technology used to build it. But we must hurry before random debris crushes it. We can get 690 minerals. Or we can try and stop the machine. 690 minerals sounds awfully tempting. I mean, I'm sure... So I'm sure that whatever you actually get for this is probably pretty sweet. I'd rather have the minerals. I'll be bluntly honest with you. I'd rather have the minerals. This is two destroyers or some more robots to improve our other world or something else. So do it. Just break it. Break it, loot it, love it. And then give me two more destroyers. And with the additional here, let's go ahead and upgrade the power plant here. And you'll be done soon. How is Cricket coming along? Not the mining station, Cricket. Um, ah, I should be building a mining network here. 
Um, let's get an engineering facility here. And then we'll need a little bit more minerals before we can do anything further. There we are. And let's say one more engineering facility. And that'll basically make engineering and sociology society. What is it called again? Oh, it's Capital World. Okay. It's a thing. I know that. Special project complete. <laughs> Our boarding attack on the Infinity Machine was successful. The sphere explodes as our team exits and the remains are starting to drift into the supermassive black hole. We can break it down for a shit ton of minerals and some influence. Or we could get a new tech called droids. Who? I could do so much with those minerals. But we also like robots, don't we? We're a very pro-robot species, we are. And droids could be even more useful. Oh, but that's like 6,000 minerals. Okay, 2,000 minerals. Um, I'm going to tell you I'm going to pick the droids. It's because you wouldn't get the full benefit of the influence. I'm going to... We're going to try to unlock that technology. Uh, very nice. The frontier clear. Oh, that's growth tum. Used to be plus half of habitability. Ooh, a doctrine. We're eventually. I'm worried that if we don't start researching biolabs, we're going to lose the chance to get it. But a flat bonus to upgrade cost? We have to do it. We just have to. And then as soon as you're done with the missiles, we'll figure out what that droid tech does. I hope I don't regret that. But I have a feeling I probably might. Um, let's go ahead and spend some influence on Krakata. Um, we want... Improved minerals. Why not? Although we're getting no minerals because we're killing everybody. Um... Maybe it would be best to go ahead and do building cost. And let's actually go ahead and crank up the unity on our home planet. Which is purity laws. There we go. Here we go. Very nice. Okay, let's wait some more time and see what things happen construction complete. service construction queue is that just the building our first level five governor Ooh. um oh you're working on a destroyer which is just now finished i think one more destroyer to fill our cap is our next move and it's going to take us two months to get enough minerals for that. That was one month. This is two. And we're back at full naval capacity again. Uh, we have an idle science ship. That can't be allowed to happen. Ooh, that's a good system for research. We're starting to get to the point we are slightly boxed in. And I'm not super happy about that. But I'll live. Let's get stuff surveyed. <laughs> That's the problem with the spiral galaxy. Okay, where's the end of this? Oh, we're like in the middle of this spiral. So at some point, we're going to have to fight one or both of them. Probably both of them, unless they... Um, there go the missiles. Now, what's this droids tack? <gasps> Robotic army. So that's plus 15 to minerals. 
minus 20 to energy, and I get robotic armies. And please remind me, normal robots do what? Yeah, the planet and Russell go when everybody's dead. As I said before, the beatings will continue until morale improves. Uh, what is it that droids do? So these are su substantially better and more useful. That's real tempting. This is actually worth it to us. This is a better long-term investment for us. And for the same maintenance cost. I mean, this other stuff is cool and all. Like, I love a new mining network. But this is just... It's perfect for our play style. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. The 2,000 minerals would have been awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love me some minerals. But I think in this particular case, it might have been justified. I'll build me some research stations, my good friend. And... Is there any unity structures that we can build here? We can't build a symbol of unity. Ooh, it improves happiness, too. Yeah, we'll go ahead and this will be the last thing we build on this planet for a while. We can always replace things later on if we so choose. And we can suppress one physics, it's fine. But more importantly, you know what this means. This planet is almost full. And full planets need to expand. So we will actually go ahead and begin the process of building our very own. Get back to Bog Rocks, please. We're going to start building a colony ship as soon as we can afford it. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Um, please research. I didn't read what the text of the anomaly was. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Another sign ship with nothing to... This is an awesome system. Oh. Wait, what? You should be... Oh, you're still going back to surveying. Um, why don't you just stop here and do the... Oh, it says you're already going to do it. Okay. I ain't here to judge. Oh, there's two signed ships in the area. Okay. Let me have you survey there. I think we can jump to this arm once we push out some more. Or we get better things here. We're not strong to take on the alien menace yet. But that's coming. Their destruction will be glorious. Okay. So thinking logically, just because I don't want things to get out of hand here. Um, we're only going to... So basically, we won't build our next colony ship until after the next planet fills up. Otherwise, I could just constantly say, we have a reason to expand. We have a reason to expand. We have a reason to expand. Um, and they, I like the idea of the fact they don't expand very quickly. Um, so this planet doesn't count because we can only put robots there. Which means we could actually probably expand it pretty darn fast. Um, so once we've once Cricket is empty, you will go to another star system. Um, Two hundred and thirty-three for a new colony ship, which doesn't actually sub a subtract a pop, which I thought it might. Okay. What was thought to be a cluster of minerals are the metal hulls of two alien corvettes stealthily drifting through the asteroid belt. Science officer Adivith Varma established contact and the two cruise ships are crewed by alleged former pirates now cast out from their robber clan. They have heard whispers that Lord Purifier Stefan von Fritsch of the Kirk is a champion of the people and seek asylum. Oh, you found the wrong people. We will not suffer the existence of your kind. Kindly go murder them, my good friends. Make them gone. Uh, excellent. Very nice. Automatic exploration. Pretty nice. Energy grid is a 10% boost to energy. 
and this is really tempting. And we get the edict. We're doing it. We get the edict to bump energy credits, which I keep forgetting the name of, and now I don't have to remember it. Because it's right there. Oh my god. We got new missiles, and I have not immediately equipped them. What kind of cricket am I? Not a very good one. Got ourselves some level 3 antimatter missiles. Yes, please. We might as well upgrade the point defense, too. And then upgrade, 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 upgrade. There we go. I don't think there's anything else we got that really needs to be upgraded just yet. We do need new warp engines at some point. That was weird. It's like it wouldn't unpause. Are you not on aggressive? You should be... Oh, you're on passive. You should be aggressive, unless you were told otherwise. Please go explode them into many tiny bits. Situation log updated. Mission complete. You got owned. Stupid pirates. I would pity them if they weren't, you know, not cricket. Really, that's... Okay, cheaper upgrade cost. Love it. A bonus to food output is awfully tempting, and I would like to start revealing some of these. Cheaper army upkeep. Hydroponics farm three. Energy siphon and cheaper war demands. I'm going to go ahead and just see if we have any Pitharan dust. Um, I doubt we do, but you never know. And then first fleet, how much to upgrade you? Only 150 some minerals to give you even more explosive missiles that have even bigger booms. Anomaly found. Another anomaly. A colossal impact critter hints at something big clouded with the surface of this moon once. We've got ourselves a pair of robots. Um, go away, dying person. You're in the way of my robot. Um, and I'll build a robot here. And we'll build, like, some of the monuments, because a robot can run those, too. There we go. And then I will put an autochthon monument and a robot here as soon as we get the mineral. Oh, we need energy now, and we're actually running out of energy. This was... I immediately regret my decision. We're going to run out of minerals here. So it's either Unar or Jerope. Unar's got the Batharian stone, this little purple thing here. This is the only reason I'm doing it. Otherwise, I would choose the bigger world. So kindly... Yeah, that energy problem will go away as soon as the colony ship is in orbit. We're finished with our droids. Lovely. We can build things faster. But I miss it the first time. I can't miss it the second time. I have to go for the defense station. And then... Assist research sounds good. Better shield sounds... Better shield sound real good. Let's do that. So can we, like, upgrade these guys? Or do we have to, like, destroy you? Ships upgraded. A massive crater on Siabula 1A. Collision with a starship. We get physics research. Hooray. Our governor leveled up. Oh, they just automatically upgrade, don't they? Yeah, cool. They just automatically upgraded. I wish I knew that. I would totally have done it sooner. Um, and we just finished the edict for energy. 
And we got the energy grid now, right? Capacity overload. Let's crank up the energy production. And where can we replace a power plant? That's not like... Yeah, we'll replace you with an energy grid. It'll give us less on that square, but more on the planet as a whole. And then you can go ahead and energy grid here with a capacity overload. And this should mean we start getting positive energy and which we can start building more droids. He won't be unemployed for long. Um, you should be here. Wait, what are you? Oh, you're a paradise dome. Cool. I want one of those. I mean, uh, happiness on a world full of robots is kind of silly, but, you know, it's fine. Colonize the planet. Um, now, one of the things they changed in this patch, give me just a second, I need to close my door. Um, one of the things they changed in this patch is that um, the initial colony no longer produces food or minerals, which means it is in our interests to put it somewhere that will benefit energy. I really love to put it here. It'll suppress one physics research, but we'll gain so much more energy, it's worth it. Let's do that. Unar Prime. Do it. Um, I am going to have you, my fellow science ship. And let's have you go assist our research in Cricket. It'll give you something interesting to do until we find something else that actually needs to be discovered. Uh, a scientist leveled up. Very nice. Construction complete. Colonization in progress. Okay. It's probably the fleet that's costing so much. Yeah, that actually did suppress our energy output slightly, but it's worth it when we get like energy grid 2, energy grid 3, and so on. Um, and we're going to focus a lot more heavily on energy for Bacada. Okay. You're there which is great. You're working on minerals. Lovely. Um, actually, doesn't it just make sense to put you there? Yeah, let's just put you there. You generate unity, too. Oh, unity is minus 40% for robots. It's fine. Oh, we need to get rid of the unrest. Um, that's what's really dragging down our... Um, let's see here. Where did I see that unrest is preventing me from collecting something? It was on the surface tile itself? No? Eh, it doesn't look like it matters very much. Okay. So you'll be in there soon to start cranking that out. Uh, I don't need you here. What, what would I... Oh, that's right. Global food. Let's actually put you there instead, though. And I'm going to replace this with another energy grid. Oh, I can't... Oh, there is an energy grid there. Okay. Fair enough. I wish you'd hurry up and die already. I gotta wait till 2249 before you're gone. That's unfair. System survey complete. Okay, and we've got ourselves another free science ship, which does, however, have things it can science. So you can science here, and here, and here, and here.
Um, is there any way we can get additional energy right now? Yes. I actually brought my... Here, you should be landing on the planet. Not you. Um, you. Land on the planet. Um... I thought I put a construction ship in this system. No, I suppose I did not. Let's get you over here to build a mining station. Oh, scientist leveled up to level two, very nice. Where's my colony being built? Right here at Unar. Okay. Anomaly found. Research it. Um, come push out a little bit more. There's four energy sitting there. Uh, Pitharan dust refining. Very nice. We've got a heritage site which produces unity. I think we've ignored biolabs for long enough, though. I think this is the time to jump back and grab biolabs. Now, when you say we ha we have Pitharan dust somewhere, what do we have Pitharan dust? Oh, that's right. It's uh, yeah. We just get a flat boost of food output. Very nice. So let's take a look at our new planet. Okay, active scans of Bivham the fifth have picked up what see appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. And he's ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity. You'll see a made of surprise and sob is unanswered. Dan Pan has wants us to do something about it. Situation -lord. Yeah, we've had that this one. I think that's how we got our two cruisers. Um, so where is that science project? There it is. Go research it. Better shields, yes. What is this? Oh, this allows a quick recharge, or we could start pushing towards cold fusion. I think we're going to go for cold fusion because we're getting to the stage where things are going to start getting really energy intensive. And we're going to need the extra power on our ship, so please research that. Thank you kindly. Um, ship designer. Now, how far do I have to go to get you to upgrade? Can I just put in, like, one fusion reactor? That gives us too much. Like, a lot too much. Not that I necessarily mind. It's like we can't use the power for other things later on. This is why we need the cold fusion reactors. Um, but it's fine. For now, I just want you to have the, the better shields. It's 180 for you. I bet we'll really see a difference here on the... Um, what, you, what you have, it's... 120... And we just downgrade these to level 1 deflectors, and we still end up with 110. Which is good. Save that design. Where did we lose, lose naval capacity? That's weird. Why did we lose some? I do not know. I'll tell you how we can fix it, though. As soon as this is done, you're getting a spaceport. Um... System survey complete. Anomaly found. Research for me. I didn't pay attention to what that one said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Construction complete. That was weird. Okay, I upgraded it and I got one naval capacity back. Hmm. A small short range. Transmitter has been located on the surface of Bivham 3A. 
It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here aeons ago to march a log departure to precious metals. The monitor was meant for evidently never rod as the deposit is still here. A plus four to minerals? Yes. It's going to take a while before we'll be able to fill that in, though. Um, you give me mining stations, and you give me mining stations. I think I just had them do mining stations twice. We'll see. I'm going to feel pretty silly if I did. And then I need you, someone flying over here to fill this thing in. We've finished our colony. Let's take a look. Yeah, see what I see what I mean? It now only produces um, energy credits. Um, but you get out. But I get two people. And one of them is going to be working on food and go straight for the hydroponics farm. Um, the next growing person is going to be working on the energy. And anything that can increase happiness here has to be done. Because their happiness is going to be capped at 55. Um, which isn't great. Let's go ahead and get you a governor. Because I've got loads of leaders and all the influence. Little earth span meant cheaper buildings, better science. Let's go with the better bit. Let's go with the cheaper buildings. And then I want you to push... Oh, farming and infrastructure. No. Yes, infrastructure. Very good. This should hopefully kickstart growth, which is what I want to see here before we start looking to other potential places. Are you in my range? You are in my range, and I have... Okay, we've got our bio lab. I don't know that we need that just yet, but we have it for when we do. Research complete. A flat bonus to naval capacity is just one of these things we can never turn down. We just can't. So done. And we finally get defense stations. Batharian power plant, no question. I'd love quantum missiles, but it can come after the Batharian power plant. So where do we build our first defense station? Special project complete. Master rules play of engineering. Gently raise a derelict ship. Um, and we got another cruiser. We got another cruiser. I am going to take a spare construction. This is really going to piss these guys off, but you're just going to have to suck it up. I want a frontier outpost in this system. And I will defend the frontier outpost with a defense station. Because there's too much stuff in this system that I don't want you to have. Construction complete. Um, super. Now this one is fully mined out. Uh... Go survey this system, please. Right, governor leveled up. So no one who's a level 5, and they're all getting old, so I bet they'll die before they ever get to level 5, which will be a tragedy, but... Eh. And then, yeah, you can go ahead and build us some mining stations there. Oh, we got engineering research down here. Yeah, let's start grabbing all the things. I think they just got my idea. They just tried to build a frontier outpost. Build quickly. Research complete. We just got cold fusion power. Excellent. Hyperlane mapping. We don't know anyone that uses hyperlanes right now. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the survey, the survey speed boost. No, it really doesn't make sense. The combat rolls would make more sense to us. 
So let's do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the ships with the cold fusion, which will let us put more uh, shields on them. So, cold fusion and everything. And then full shields. So it's not quite that good. Or that good. Or that good. If we put the cold fusion in the medium slot, can we fill these with shields? Not even remotely close. I think this is as good as we're going to get, as we're going to get the two advanced ones, and I can live with that. Upgrade. Still more shields. So 180 now, if we start throwing in the um, cold fusion. Is that enough to power at least one more block of shields? It is, so it jumps to 270. That was also worth it. Done. Uh, please merge into one glorious fleet. System survey complete. Uh, kinda neat. I mean, it's not really gonna get my... We have been communicated by the Gargaxton Collective. We are the Gargaxton Collective and we speak as one. The hive mind has taken note of your presence. We will observe for now. Our future actions will depend on whether you are a threat, an opportunity for expansion, or an unseen variable. Okay, Space Turtle. Keep out of our way, or we will make you. We'll need to see what these guys... Everyone closes it right away. It makes me sad. You're making me sad. Um... After burns would be nice. I would like to start getting into armor. That would be a useful thing to have. Or plasma thrusters. Those are all great options. But spaceport level 4 wins destroyer assembly yards and gets us closer to cruisers. So we're going to research that. How's Unar Prime coming along? We're getting there. Please build a Batharian power plant, if you would not mind. Ah, uh, balls. I need a planetary administration. I'll just put a basic power plant there, and it'll upgrade later on. It's fine. Um, I need to see if I have all my robots down. Yep, I need some more robots. Um, we really should get robots doing what robots are best at, which is making minerals, but droid for you, droid for you, and then we'll put a droid here, droid for you. I, I am disappointed, Gargaxton Collective. I mean, why do you hate me already? Just because it turns out that I want to obliterate the planet. Uh, how do I actually access? Oh, that's right. It's under contacts, isn't it? They hate us less, they hate us less than everyone else, and they haven't joined the defensive pact. You are rivals with the mandate. Hmm. Now that, ah, if you get into a war with them and it ends the defensive pack, I will stab these guys in the back because they're now down to pathetic, right? No, they have inferior fleet power, but the capacity is about the same. That will change very soon. Construction complete. Very, very soon. And we just finished. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> 18 minerals. What? Oh, wow. Oh, you're going to hate me for that. You may decide to go to war with me, and I'd like to see you try. 
Um, kindly build all the things in this system, my construction ship friend. Mining stations and research stations. Tradition. Uh, let's see here. Everything, we get more unity, which will make our next tradition faster. Or we get... Or it's easier for us to put down frontier outposts. What are these two? Pop growth, reduce time, increase colony development speed, uh, reduce tradition cost. Let's grab these two because these will be useful the sooner we get them, and then we'll come back to the other two. So we'll get colonization fever. I hope it's addictive. Um, but that'll be it for this episode. Um, a really good episode. We've expanded nicely. We are the largest name in the galaxy, which, as anyone knows from any Paradox game, is all that really matters. Um, the Imperium of Racta and the Free Suloco, Sulacoco Mandate are in a world of hurt. Um, I could crush them by myself because they actually have pathetic fleet capacity. Yeah, they're just flat out pathetic. I could almost take them both on at the same time. But I'm not there yet. But soon, though. Soon. Um, anyway, this has been Avindian bringing you another episode of Stellaris, The Revenge of Cricket. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, if so, please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know uh, what you think of the series so far, um, where we should maybe go next. So my long-term plans are, are looking like crushing one or both of these guys in the not-too-distant future. Maybe if these two get into a war, that'd be really convenient. Um, I could even see if I get the hive mind to join my war temporarily, but I don't know if that's an option with a fanatical purifier. Hmm. We'll see. Um, but until next time, I bid you good day, good fortune, and good luck.